Hi everyone, welcome to the Simple Art at Home Summer Camp Art Series with me, Laura Houston. Get your art supplies ready because together we will get creative, learn about art, and have some fun along the way. I'll meet you at the art table. Okay, so we are working on the intermediate lesson. This is part one, and it's a self-portrait. And a self-portrait is a drawing of you. You're going to draw it yourself. So right now I want you to think about your hairstyle, how you'd like to draw your hair. Do you wear glasses? Um, what's your favorite outfit? Because maybe you want to draw yourself in your favorite outfit, or if you wish you had a specific outfit, you can draw yourself in that. So I have a couple of examples here. Uh, the drawing on the left, I did the outline with a black pen. And I think you do have black pens available. And then the drawing on the right, I did the outline in a black crayon. And you know, you can decide which one you want to use. Um, the black pen has a much simpler eye design. You can be very specific. The mouth is just more of a cartoon, very simple mouth. So take a look at this one compared to the way that I did the eyes here uh, and um, the lips on the mouth, okay? Um, for today, for part one, we're gonna be sketching with pencil and then uh, drawing and you can choose pen or crayon. I'm gonna draw with uh, the black crayon today. But I will leave this girl up the entire time and I'm going to set this boy aside I'm actually gonna tape, tape him up next to my desk so I can refer um, to how I did this okay so I'm starting with a fresh piece of white paper and I really like it well I like it when my students write their names on the back and that way it's much easier for your teacher or whoever's in charge of passing out papers to get your work back to you for part two so it doesn't have to be giant just write your name on the back in pencil and then turn your paper over okay so I'm just gonna show you this one from top to bottom okay so what it is my paper is so big it's like yours it doesn't fit in my in my camera width but it's just shoulders see that it's just shoulders and top of shirt there's a neck head and hair okay so kind of keep that in mind so over here uh, make sure when you draw the head that you leave room for um, neck and shoulders so we're gonna start just with a shape, something like an oval. And again, this is sketching with pencil in case I wanna go back and refine it. I'll go over it in, in black pretty soon. Then we're gonna want a neck, and then just kinda of draw some shoulders coming out from the side and going straight down. And later we'll put a shirt there, like that. Okay, I'm not gonna draw with the crayon just yet because it's not, it, this is just very rough. All right, so um, when it comes to um, the eyes, I'm going to draw my eyes somewhere near the middle um, of the head, okay? And they're gonna be kind of like an almond shape. Now, again, I'm just doing sketches here, some quick sketches. I have my paper at a weird angle. I need to turn this just for a second, sorry. It's, it's natural for me to want to turn my paper to the side when I sketch. So, I'm gonna, and I'm drawing these eyes a little bit big, but I kind of like that on portrait drawings. Again, I'm just sketching when I go over it with 
black crayon, I will do it a little bit better. I am gonna do a simple nose, something like that. And then for the mouth, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a smile, but then I'm going to widen it a little bit. And do like a little chin mark. And I know your teacher can pause the video. You might want to wait anyway until I add the black crayon in case you can't see it really well. Um, I'm not going to draw the black crayon though until I draw a hairline. So the hair, um, I'm going to kind of make it wavy across here and stop in front of the ears. Do the same thing there. And then outside, I'm going above the face, the headline that I drew. I'm just kind of making it wavy and then it's coming down. Okay. Okay, once I start adding the crayon, you'll be able to understand what this is a little bit better. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start with the eyes. Let me look at this a minute. Okay. All right. Crayon is, is a little more difficult because it's thick, right? Crayon goes on very thick. So you can decide how thick or if you want to color very lightly with the crayon, maybe you let you barely let it touch your paper. Now re um, remember, the, the little kind of triangle edges of the eyes are going to stay white, okay? And I'm just gonna draw some eyebrows. Everybody has eyebrows. And then the nose is gonna kind of come down like that. And I'm not going to be adding in color today. That we're gonna do color in part two. For the mouth, I'm starting kind of with a smile, but then I'm just kind of taking the lips up a little bit. Okay. Now I can kind of see how the face is forming a little bit better. I can draw an ear, suggestion of an ear, and then we can do the hair. So maybe the hair comes like this. And maybe I want it to be a little bit down here. Coming down to the top of the ears. See how at first the pencil sketch seemed so odd, but it's important to sketch with pencil. And let's take the shoulders down this way. And then straight down. There's the bottom of the paper. And then think about what kind of neckline you want on your shirt. If it's a t-shirt, you're gonna do something like this. Some shirts have a v-neck. Um, some shirts have a collar. So kind of think about what you want your shirt to look like. And then also think about what you want the background to look like. And I do recommend some sort of a pattern on the shirt. So I take it back when I said that I'm not going to be using crayons because I do want to just outline some patterns here. Okay, so let's see. Why don't we take, I'm going to use some green because I always think it's more interesting to do a pattern. See how her shirt has little ovals, little purple ovals? It's just more interesting. So here, I think I'll just do a combination of like almost like a plaid 
And I'm going to, uh, in part two, I'm gonna paint over the top of this. But I do like mixing crayon with paint. And I think some of the lines going this way, I'll make a little bit thicker. But I'm not gonna color them in completely. It's just gonna be a suggestion that there's some sort of a pattern on the shirt. Okay. And I think what I'll also do is a little bit of pattern or color in the hair. Why don't we, and I know this seems strange too, but I'm gonna just take some brown and just make a few marks. If you're if you don't like the pencil lines showing through, um, you can erase those. For me, they don't really bother me because I know I sketched. Okay. And I'm not gonna do anything else on the face yet. Um, what I might do is show you how I did since we do have time um, if you want to keep sketching this one maybe I'll show all of you how I made these eyes and the glasses so um, for now I am going to set this one aside like this and then I'll show you how I used the pen. So I need to, I'm gonna use a little tape here to tape up. So I can turn my head and look at it and remind myself what I did. Okay. They look strange without color, but just wait till part two. Okay, so for this one, again, um, I started, I, I made the face rather wide for this one, she was shaped a little differently. And I also did her eyes um, very differently. So for her, she had more of like just cartoony um, round, kind of round eyes like this. And I put a little lid and a few little eyelashes and then over here, I just did a black like pupil, but I left a cutout like that. Let me show you, and I'm gonna use the pencil, I mean, to, to erase to show you how I did that. So again, so her, her eye was kind of like this. Went all the way around. Then there was a lid and then two little wispy eyelashes and then almost like a little crescent shape there. See that inside the eye and she's looking off to the right. I don't know if you realize that I did that with her. So this guy's looking straight ahead, but I think it's also interesting if you want to draw um, showing your person looking off to the side. So it's kind of just a round shape. It's really hard to get eyes the same, <laughs> the same size. That's why it kind of helps sometimes to work with pencil first. Okay. And I'm, I'm also going to show you how I did her hair because her hair has to be drawn because it covers up. Oh, I just did that wrong. I just did that wrong. So did you see what I just did? So it makes it look like her eyes are going into the center. Okay, that's why I always keep extra paper. Hold on. Take two. Okay, real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna sketch your head. See, everybody makes mistakes, especially if you're not completely focused. Okay, there's her head. I gave her a little neck. And I'm gonna make 
make her eyes. Here we go again. No big deal. All you do is just get a new piece of paper or sometimes if you don't have another piece of paper, you just turn your paper over, especially if you've only used pencil. Let's go this way. So before I forget, let me sketch both of our eyes going over to the side. There. Okay, so. <laughs> so, here it is. Kind of like that. Again, she's kind of cartoony. Well, they both are, but she's more so. Okay. See, she's looking off to the side. And then I just gave her a kind of a little nose like that and a little crooked mouth like that. And uh, so her hair, I'm gonna sketch with pencil to show you how I did her hair. Um, her hair has like a, it starts over here like it's a side part and it's actually going to come down kind of right by the corner of her eye and it goes up. And then again, this one doesn't cover her glasses, but it's the same thing. And then I just draw, drew like a big wavy thing here and it goes off the page and then comes back and it kind of comes to her shoulder right there. And we'll do the same thing here. We've got some hair that comes up and to her shoulder. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna sketch um, the glasses. So um, glasses kind of sit here. Let's see. Actually, I'm gonna make it a little closer to her nose. And it's not realistic, it's cartoony, because of course they're not really like sitting on her nose. And then there's like a top piece of her glasses that are gonna go back there behind her hair. And this side too. And then we have the bottom part that comes around. But remember, it's kind of thick. So you have to save room, you have to save room for the whole frame. That's what I'm talking about, the frame of her glasses. There, okay. I'm not gonna draw all of her, but just enough so you get an idea. And I'll go over this real quick with um, pen. But that's kind of how you would draw glasses. So they're gonna start here. And there and they go over and also there and then here around because I know her hair is gonna go here See, you can kind of see that. And her hair would come down through all this. And then her face just continues around here. And we have her neck and shoulders. And then the rest of her hair gets filled in up here and it kind of comes there. Okay, so I'm trying to see two different examples. Okay, so go ahead and finish um, working on your, finish work, finish working on yours. Decide if you want to put glasses on or not and choose what kind of neckline you want, you know, on the top. 
And um, this, um, this is the end of um, part one. I will put my original drawings back up here so that you can see. Here she is. And here he is. That gives you some inspiration, some guidelines. Okay, so take a look at those. This is um, the end of part one. And in part two, I will show you how to finish off the drawing. Okay, so welcome back. This is part two of the intermediate lesson. We are finishing our self-portraits. Uh, the last time we met together, you sketched an outline and maybe added a little bit of color. Today, I'm going to add more crayon and more watercolor paint and a design in the background. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add, start adding a little bit of crayon to his face. I'm going to add some crayon in the iris or the colored part of his eyes. Um, lips can be difficult so I recommend either using a little bit of brown. Um, you can add a little bit of red. Don't do too much red because then it ends up looking like lipstick. Um, there's peach in your crayons perhaps. Um, there might be Oh, maybe a little bit of orange. Uh, let me see what I have in my these crayons as well. Uh, let's see. This is kind of like kind of like a red brown. And I'm also going to use paint uh, over all of this as well. Um, so. I'm going to start by really heavily outlining the black crayon a bit more. And see what I have left of my black crayon. So I personally like the contrast of black crayon when I make self-portraits. It really makes the paint stand out. So I'm just doing a thick line on his hairline. I'm gonna go around the ears and his face. I'm gonna really thicken his shirt. I'm going to be careful with the facial features. I don't want to go too heavy on everything, but I will outline his eyes and his nose a bit more. I do need his lips to stand out a little bit more, not too much though, and some eyebrows. Okay, I'm going to do something interesting um, with um, the background. So I'm just going to set my paints to the side here. I'm going to do some horizontal um, wavy lines in sections and I'm going to add color inside 
the section, but I'm gonna make sure this line is nice and thick because it'll look more interesting. And you can do any kind of background that you want, but I do recommend some sort of background to add interest um, to your self-portrait. If you wanna fill your background with butterflies or anything else that you really like, you can fill your background with some flowers or trees, um, your favorite color, which is with stripes. If it's, I'm not making this really, really detailed because the more detailed it is, the more work it is to, to color it all in. Notice how I had to turn my paper sideways. Sometimes I have to do that to really get um, the look that I want. Okay, so I am going to start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test out like a, a light brown, but I'm also going to use paint as well. It's always best to go lighter at first because you can always add a darker shade, but you can't go back the opposite way. Once you start something that's too dark, then it's too late. All right, and the rest of this, I'm gonna add paint, and even with his shirt too. Okay, so I think I will go ahead and demonstrate with paint. You don't have to use paint, but if you are, that's fine. I do, I'm gonna use black in his hair. Even though I used brown, you're gonna see that, that a little bit of that brown crayon is going to show through, but I want a strong contrast between his hair and his face. And I feel like if I use a darker paint color that that will show up better. There. Okay, so all of a sudden he's looking better. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to his face and I suggest putting water first because you don't want to put a blob of really dark paint on your face and then boom like it's it's too late so I'm just barely dabbing in the brown but notice how I put water first and so it really allows the paint to glide smoothly if you don't have water, your paint will kind of stick in scratchy blobs. And it, sometimes that happens and just know that the watercolor does dry a little bit lighter. Okay. I'm just barely putting brown Paint. Don't forget the ears, Making his chin, don't forget the neck, the nose, don't paint the whites of the eyes. The whites of the eyes need to stay white. Okay, for the rest of this I'll be using my thinner paintbrush. So for his eyes, I'll do the brown part here. Now, just lot of, automatically putting color in there makes the whole portrait look better. There. Okay, so when it comes to the lips, we gotta be careful here. I'm gonna try a little bit of... Oh, bless you, that's Mr. Houston. That's okay. Excuse me. So, I think I told the primary, it was the primary kids, right? So I make these videos from home I don't know if you knew that. Simple Art at Home is made at home. And Mr. Houston, my husband, helps me with all the videos. He runs the computer and we use our iPhones as cameras. So he helps me. I couldn't do this without him, but he just sneezed. You might've heard him. That's okay. Doesn't bother us. 
right? <laughs> I'm thankful that he helps. Okay, so now you can see the face already looks a lot better. And I'm gonna add, even though I put green, green markings on his shirt, now I'm going to add blue. His shirt is going to be blue. I love blue. So think about what your favorite color is. And you can paint your shirt any color that you want to. Remember, it was up to you what kinds of designs or patterns you wanted to make on your shirt. And remember to use water, but not too much. You gotta find that balance so that the paint slides around, but it also won't rip, soak and rip your paper. Okay, there's a nice blue shirt. I just, so you can see the bottom, I just take it right down to the bottom like that. Okay, and as for the background, let me move my, my crayons out of the way. So I'm gonna do something, a nice pattern in the background. I don't wanna mix up my fun colors of the world with my other crayons. <laughs> Okay, I have to clean up my clean up my desk here, cause turn my paper sideways. So I think you gotta think about what colors will look good together. And I think since I use blue and green here, black and brown here, then I'm gonna add. I think purple would look nice inside these stripes. And again, I'm using my thicker brush because I have a larger area to paint. And uh, remember, you use colors that you enjoy you're making your portrait about what you look like. There's another lesson, like if you really like the portraits, there's another one that we did for the beginners and it's pretty funny. It's more of a cartoon little person and you're drawing your whole body. So I don't know if your class has time one day, if you wanna try that one for fun, it's the, uh, the beginners and it's with arms and legs and shoes and everything and you know you can always find these videos if you're at home and you just want to draw you can always find these videos on the the Anaheim Elementary School District YouTube channel just look for the simple art at home playlist and they're all there actually I have I think around 80 videos or a little more. They're always there. Okay, I'm gonna do one more purple stripe. And then, so I need to think of another color. And I think you saw for my sample, I'm gonna use green. I think that will look really nice next to the purple. I, I really like using um, bright colors and I, I used the black crayon on purpose because it will separate the the wax and the crayon will separate the watercolors so they don't run together. Notice my paper is curling a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. But you just keep painting and I'm just going to keep painting or maybe you're coloring with crayons or using Maybe you have colored pencils, I don't know. It doesn't matter, just enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy working on your art. Okay. 
I have a few more spaces to fill in. If you use a bigger paintbrush, you cover more area faster. And the smaller paintbrushes are for very tiny or smaller areas. And I know I paint rather quickly, and even if when I finish, you can still keep painting. I'll turn it right side up when I finish. from part one as well so that you can see take a look and pay attention I'll, I'll point a few things out so um, with her I used a little bit of purple crayon inside the glasses and then I painted blue in the other spot I used a little bit of red watercolor paint on her cheeks can you see that just to add a little bit of rosy cheeks in her hair I added brown and did a lot of little brown lines with crayon and then I painted the whole all of her hair brown and then I added some black into her hair like all through here and then with her shirt I first took purple crayon and just drew some sideways like ovals just to make add interest I drew larger uh, they almost look like pebbles I don't know down here and then I went smaller again and then painted over it with purple and her background is just like a blue like a sky blue and you see how I even left a little bit of white in there and and that's okay it all depends on the look that you want I have a crayon kind of smudged on his face but I, I can blow that off once it dries so you keep going and coloring in your self portrait. I would love to see pictures of how these come out. So by all means, um, take a picture of your artwork and you can email it to me. It's right there on the bottom left hand corner of your screen, lhouston at aesd.org. And I might show your artwork on a future episode. So um, this is all I have for you for part two and I will see you next time. See you next time.